Your privacy should be a priority when using any online service, so make sure you take the time to update your Skype privacy settings. Click on the Skype tab and then Privacy. Here, you can choose to allow calls from anyone or just people in your contacts list. Choose to automatically receive video and screen sharing from anyone, just people in your contacts, or from no one. This is kind of important as you may not want just anyone to be able to send you video via Skype. Just a thought. Now choose your privacy for instant messaging. Choose just from anyone or from your Skype contacts only. You can also choose how long your conversation history should be stored. Forever, a few weeks, months, or never. You can clear your current conversation history here as well. You can also choose if you want your Skype status shown on the web, and you can clear your Skype cookies from here, and return to the default settings if you've decided you want to go back to the original settings. As with everything else, make sure you hit save when you're through. Thanks for watching and don't miss the next episode in the Making Calls with Skype series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.